Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk about three different methods that I use to warm up when I'm about to start working on another piece of artwork, a much larger thing that I'm going to devote a lot more time to. And I found that each of these methods have different benefits and oftentimes I'll combine them together to get a better jump start on the work that I'm about to start. So we can go ahead and just jump right in with the very first method, which is a gesture slash loose sketching style. Now this is very helpful when I just need to get my muscles warmed up, whether it's been a weekend where I haven't been drawing for some reason, or I'm particularly stiff from maybe drawing a little bit too hard the day before. This just gets my physical hand muscles working and ready to start drawing. I also will do something like this in the middle of a piece if I feel that I'm getting a little bit too clenched up, which happens a lot when I'm say using micron pens, where sometimes I, I grip it way too tightly. So if I feel like I'm getting myself a little bit more wound tightly as I'm working, I'll come back to this and it helps me loosen up quite a bit. I make sure that I'm holding my drawing implement nice and loosely. And I usually will just pull up some reference where I can get some good gestural lines. Now, this also has the great benefit of being really good for, for getting used to looking at and figuring out anatomy and how to draw anatomy. This is usually the first thing that they teach you when you go to figure drawing classes where you start with the gesture and you get the line of action down. So this one is just great overall to get to get moving, get warmed up and get ready to start physically drawing. And the next method is where I just start drawing from my head. And this is all just imagination. And while I always make sure that I'm using references when I'm doing a more finished product, because I want to make sure that I get everything accurate and I'll talk about that next. But when I want to get started and I just want to get some ideas down, I try to make sure that I take a minute where I just draw straight from my head. I find that it allows me to loosen up the ideas and it gets me thinking more about what I can do and the possibilities rather than getting stuck in a mode of looking for reference for too long. So this just gets me more mentally woken up as far as drawing it. It helps me think about what am I going to do in a way that's not tied to anything else before it. And this is a method that probably most of us end up doing where we just sit down and we draw what's on our on the top of our mind or what we're thinking about or what we want to maybe explore in the pieces that we're about to start. So this one, I, I find that I'd actually really like to do more of this because it does allow me to reach into my own imagination more. And I, I've been skipping that part quite a bit. I've noticed when it comes to time to come up with new ideas for actual full painting. So, so coming back to a time where I can just trust myself and trust my ideas, that's something that I like to practice a little bit more. I've actually found that this step has been the most helpful for me as far as concept generation. So I found that I used to work 100% this way when it came to doing any sketching or any preliminary warmups. I just worked straight from my head and I didn't really look up reference for anything. And of course that was not the correct way to go, but I'm at a point now where I second guess everything to the point that I, I don't even let myself think about options because I need to find a reference first. So by having this as a warm up that I use in front of all my other more formal, really well researched sketches and planning phases, I found that I've allowed myself to be a lot more trusting on my ideas and to put more, more stock into that. I, I found that because I do this first and because I force myself to draw something without any reference, I, I start making these jumps of, well, okay, well, I, I think that this would look cool and maybe I don't know exactly how to draw it, but I'm going to do my best shot and then I'm going to move on and do my best shot on this and this and this. And it has seriously improved how much sketching I get done. I don't get stalled out on things where I don't know exactly how they're going to look because I'm just allowing myself to get that concept down. It's much more conceptual at this point than, than other times when I'm really just rushing past that. And I have, yeah, I've gotten a lot of benefits from, from this method, from utilizing it correctly. Now I would definitely 
say to make sure that you handle this carefully because to get better at art, you really do need to look at reference. Reference is your best friend as an artist. So I use this for that specific purpose of getting my imagination going and my ideas and my concepts going, but I do not rely on this 100% anymore for my sketching or for my painting or for anything like that. Of course, there's a point where you've drawn the same thing enough times and you've studied it enough times that you can come up with a pretty accurate representation in your head of certain things. And that's totally okay. But for the most of us, we're still in a phase where we need to be using reference. So, so speaking of reference, we can move on to the final sketching warm up phase, and that is drawing with reference. And drawing with reference and doing this type of warm up is so incredibly helpful for getting accurate drawings. This gets me warmed up to studying reference or life and being able to compute that into how I draw and how I want to turn that into my own style. So this is the final key in the puzzle. I, I found that I usually need to do at least one sketch like this where I am just working straight off of a reference. And of course I do take liberties and I definitely do on this one, but for the areas that I need the most help, I'm I'm really studying it and looking for things that I'm I'm guessing at and then correcting myself. So because I am working this way where I'm doing a warm-up sketch where I'm working from a reference, it does help me start to notice these things that when I'm normally drawing with reference these little pitfalls that I have, and we all have them where we, we think we know what something looks like, but that's not actually how it looks. And we, we don't even notice it. So by having this warm up sketch that's intended to get used to drawing from reference and studying the reference, it helps me catch myself before I'm even into the final piece and final sketching. So, so this really is just the very analytical side of it. It helps me get in tune to studying what I'm putting down and making sure that it's accurate. Now, the biggest cons that I have for this one, which is not a con for the actual sketch method, but for the way that I approach it, is that oftentimes I'll let myself get really hung up on what reference I'm going to draw from. And this is probably a problem that I don't know, maybe a lot of you don't have to struggle with this. Maybe you're really great at just finding something and connecting with it. But I have a lot of drawbacks of looking at something and thinking, okay, well, this isn't good enough or this doesn't have enough connections to my own style. And of course, those are things that that can be fine-tuned as I'm working on it. And it's also the type of thing that keeps me from actually starting and studying. So that's something that I am actively working on right now where I just need to think of an interesting keyword, find a photo that works and start drawing and not second guess that, not second guess my reference to the point that I don't even draw anything. So I, I'm trying to get into more of the habit of just thinking up a, a word or an idea that can bring up a lot of different references that have enough interest that I can just pick one, that I can find one. So for this one, I, I think that I looked up I think it was maybe derby hats or something like that, or maybe I got led there eventually, but I was looking at these hats that were made of just flowers and leaves and they were for like horse racing. And I got to the point where I found the reference that I'm using today where she had this nice dress silhouette, which was something that I hadn't really drawn. And I liked her face shape and all these different components. So I decided just to move forward and take that as the sketch that I was going to work on. And just allowing myself to not think too much on the reference and just dive right in and start studying it and figuring out what makes it work and what can I take from it really does help. So once I was done with this sketch and I did end up moving on to my final piece, I was a lot better prepared to start working and finding the correct reference without getting stalled out of thinking, well, this isn't the perfect reference because I have combined all of these skills that I've warmed up with all of these sketches. So by doing the from my own imagination in combination with this, I can find references that are pretty close and then I can bridge the gap or I can find references that have the core hand shape, but whatever else I need, I can come up with and I can make it work. So 
yeah, I think that really when it comes down to it, it's just a combination of all the different methods that come together to create the right kind of sketching warm up that you need for that particular piece for that particular day for the different challenges that you're working with. And that's why I love these three different things is that they are, are kind of like this building up gradient, I can skip past some or I can do all three of them. And I can make them work for exactly what I need out of it. And that is it for today. And I actually have some really exciting news. I am officially streaming over on Twitch and my schedule going forward is going to be Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. I'll have a schedule posted over on my Twitch channel so you can check out the times that I will be streaming. But since it is Saturday today, that means I will be having a stream today. I'm actually gonna be starting 30 minutes after this video releases. So that's 10.30 today, if you happen to be watching it on the release day, but I would love if you guys came and stopped by and hung out with me for a little bit. I will have a link to my Twitch channel down in the description. And, oh, and because I will be streaming three times a week, I'm actually gonna be cutting out my Wednesday videos, but any content that's over on my Twitch won't be here on YouTube. And that's great because it means that there's more content for you guys to be able to watch, but. That's it for today. I do have a link to my Patreon and my art shop and now Twitch all down below. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next Saturday.